Hi, and welcome back to the Sandboy Saga. Let's get started. So last month, I was testing the limits of my language. And this month, I've been working on the next version of the language, Toad Splat 4. I made a mini library called Eat to help read the language. Let me explain how it works. This toad here represents an eat function. It wants to eat the word colour. So you feed it your entire source code, it gobbles it up and chews off the snippet it wants to eat and spits out the rest of your code if it's successful. If you feed it the wrong thing, it gets angry and spits it all out. And that's the general idea. You can line up different eat functions one after the other so that they work their way through your code, breaking it down into its different parts. And if any functions reject the code, you can make another function eat it instead. So that was a little overview of how Toad Splat reads the code that you write. And now, here are the so-called features that are coming in the new version of the language. Rule literal. You don't need to write the rule keyword anymore, you can just write your rules. I think it's easier to read and less annoying to write, hopefully. Strip white fade. You can use tabs, spaces, or any number of them, but you need to be consistent. This is to help me pass more complicated stuff. Block. You can group together different bits of toad splat into a block. This comes in handy for the next feature. Control structures. All rule labels are removed and replaced with control structures so that you can express yourself better with the language. Embedded JavaScript. You can embed JavaScript in many different places in the language so that you can write whatever values you want. Single line block. If your block is one line long, you can leave off the brace brackets. This makes it a bit clearer, especially when you're putting multiple blocks together. Everything the block. Every time you write code, you're writing inside a block. This unifies different parts of the language together and makes the final two features possible. Sub elements. You can write elements inside elements inside elements, which can help you organize stuff into different scopes. Global stuff. You can write rules and stuff in the global scope without declaring an element. This is useful for debugging and making demos like these. So Toad Splat 4 now reads your code and stores it in a format that's easy to understand. Um, the next thing I've got to do is tell the Sandboys engine how to read the format and make stuff behave the way it should. Another thing, I'm thinking of changing the name Toad Splat. Because when I upgrade to Toad Splat 4, all my previous tutorials and stuff will be out of date. And also, I don't want people to get confused if they're learning the actual language Splat. And if I'm changing the name Toad Splat, it's probably a good opportunity to change the name Sandboys too. I've never really liked the name I gave it because it's weirdly gendered. Like, why would I give Sand a gender? And I'd rather not do that. So just to be clear, Toad Splat is the uh, programming language. Sandboys is the engine that runs the simulation. I really don't know what to rename these things to, or even if I should, but it'll probably end up being something frog or toad or sand related. So please let me know your thoughts and ideas for that. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear what, what you guys have to say. But thanks very much for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate it. <laughs>